All right, guys, welcome along to stream number one of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Last week, we finished up our playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. So today and this week, we will be moving on to the next game in the series, which is Rechain of Memories. Originally brought out on the Game Boy Advance, can you believe, back in 2004. Um, this actually kind of has a lot different mechanics from the original um i believe it's like a card based game so it's probably why it's received such differing opinions from a lot of people but we're gonna jump in without any sort of real prior knowledge of the game and um obviously start our playthrough tonight um off camera i have been um absolutely playing kingdom hearts one to death um so I've been starting my platinum grind off camera since we finished the original story, the main story. Um, so kind of sort of fill you in where I am with that. I am almost through a second playthrough already, um, in which I'm hoping to tie up um, initial equipment, uh, no continues, and under 15 hours, of which I think I'm, I'm at world's end at the minute on my new playthrough and i think i'm only about eight and a half hours in so it's it's mad like once you've played the game and you kind of like know where everything is and how to sort of like maneuver around the game a little bit easier it's imagine how quick also i mean cut, skipping all the cutscenes massively helps as well with the time um frame so yeah it's um absolutely mental i've been working on some other bit trophies as well i've done uh, some of the collectibles like the trinity points all the dalmatians so yeah, just tripping away, but I kind of wanted to get like the playthrough that because I'm gonna have to do a third playthrough. Um, so I've got to beat the game on proud mode, which um we only played on standard when doing our initial let's play. So um yeah, I kind of wanted to get the story trophies done first, and then we can work on the more grindy trophies after that. But without further ado, let's jump in to Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Also, Kibber, what's going on? Welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're well. Hope you've had a good week. All right, so I think, again, we will start our playthrough in standard mode here. Just so that we can like properly get a grip of the game, um, how the mechanics and everything work, and it's not like overly challenging. Um, I think it's the best thing to do. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thank you. I had a good week. Um, like I say, like just kind of like uh, pushed on there, just really throwing myself into Kingdom Hearts that little bit more. Um, but yeah, no, had a good week. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let us begin, continue our journey into Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories.
Good job we played the first game because there were some massive spoilers there. <laughs> something that is dear to you. You think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends, they're here. <laughs> Guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh, no, Timothy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm hmm I had the exact same feeling. Gorge! Maybe it's contagious. No, no, something's screwing. We gotta go take a look. All right. Ah! Where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Sora! That's it. Who are you? <laughs> Why is it 
I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past, and you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him. What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora, to lose and claim anew, or to claim anew only to lose. Is this guy the Riddler? Jeez. Come on, let's go. Traverse Town card. All right. Let's take a direction button. Select card. You currently have only one world card. Okay, so I'm guessing like maybe like what I'm guessing at the minute is kind of like. We're gonna like play out the majority here, and this door is gonna change depending on what card we play, perhaps. I guess maybe instead of like gummy ships, maybe we're gonna use the cards to travel between the worlds, potentially. Also, interestingly, like Sora's got like a different voice which is kind of weird having played so much kingdom hearts uh, the original be right it looks a bit different we're in travis town what you see isn't real This town is illusion created by your memories ingrained in that card. Um, I mean, I guess I, I I don't know like the history of it, but did the original voice actor from two thousand and two was the original voice used in uh, the the final mix version? Um, obviously, this was originally a Nintendo ad a Game Boy Advance game, so I, I guess there was no voice acting. So I'm guessing, yeah, if, if on the basis that the same person was used from the original in 2002, I can understand why there's that difference. This town is illusion created by your memories ingrained in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora. We lost Donald and Goofy. Donald! Goofy! Guys, where are you? What did you do with them? They are at the mercy of the cards now. Go, Napaz. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Master cards and their strength will be yours again. Lots of castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. 
you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Okay, we got Donald. Purchase pickup are added to the top of your stack. Use them, and your friends will come to your aid. Donald. <laughs> I quite, I quite nervous about this because I've never really played any like proper like card games as such, just other than like um, Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII. Although I have played a bit of um, Inscription, but um, yeah, I'll guard them from snipes. And thank you for the hydrate, Napaz, and the stretch. I will double hydrate just for you. I actually finished it, um, Kibir, if I'm honest. I have not. I really need to go back to it and finish it. I love the concept of it, though. It's really cool. Thanks for... Uh... Uh, I'm not even sure I got to the 8-bit part, to be fair, Kibisa, Kibisa, so, uh, yeah. Cartulus vanish, but they will reappear to aid you time and time and again, okay? Cards are the heart of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether you're an enemy or a door confronts you, cards are the only way to proceed. <laughs> but you must have forget your own strength. Okay. So you still jump and dodge roll, interesting. First, think for yourself. Move, then use your cards. Okay. Now you know how to use your strength, but it will be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. R2 is lock on on this, interesting. Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you'll be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run out, and I will show you. You have no more cards, and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the cards return to you, and they will. Reloading cards. Quickly select reload card. Okay, so... I guess you can probably, like, reload even when it's not at the top of your stack, right? Okay, possibly. Strength of your heart brought back by the lost cards. You can recall spent cards at any time. You need only wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. Okay, so I, I can see that, like, that recall card there is now saying two as opposed to a one. Okay. The cards are by no means un unlimited. Use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle. And choose the most effective cards. You may use any card in your deck. Four card types you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. The second category consists entirely of enemy cards. Use cards from a different category. Okay. Why would I want to use an enemy card? Cards will empower you whether you're attacking or defending. But it's up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget that. All right, this is going to take some... Uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. You two all right? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened that door, we saw a strange light. 
and the rest is just blank. Gee, that doesn't help. Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Hey, Donald. Where'd I get the new clothes? What? Me too, Goofy. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. Could it be the cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. But from here, you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine, I can take care of myself. Hmm, the hero speaks boldly. Go then, the rest of the castle of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk the avenues of latest, latent memory and you shall meet someone dear to you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jimmy. Jiminy. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? Yeah, how hard? All I have to do is use one in front of the, that door over there. Key of beginnings. Trust in the heart of the cards. We'll see. The Traverse Town, town Jams, though. You perform the following actions in the field. Move, look around, and face forward. Swing key, blade, jump, and dodge roll. <laughs> nice San Andreas reference. Strike an object to the field with your keyblade will yield various results. Try striking the barrel. Blizzard. Marked objects can be lifted and thrown. Approach press triangle. Touching a Heartless on the field starts a battle. You can strike the Heartless first to gain the upper hand. I could, but... Still not 100% sure what the enemy cards are, gonna, are going to do. Let's um, take our time and explore around. Okay, we got HP recovery again. red ones are. Bit of a map here as well, which is interesting. It kind of tells us the direction we're facing in the room. One thing I kind of like at times in Kingdom Hearts 1, it would have been nice to have kind of like a map of some description to kind of give us a bit of an indication of where we're going. Proceed to the next room, you need a, a map card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, you select the map card you want to use. Tranquil Darkness, Moments Reprieve. 
Right, so let's say we're going to have a moment's reprieve. The number you see in the middle of the screen is the, the criterion for opening the door. Criterion displayed now means the door will open with a value of one or greater. You need to pick a card that meets that criterion. Okay. Cards have marked values from zero to nine. Zero cards mark zero special cards, which meet most criteria. A card without a marked value is a key card. Key cards are only used for special doors. Right. So zero is kind of like anything, but everything else is zero to nine. I think that's what it was trying to tell me. Doing Christian in front of storage called save points. Stand near it and press the triangle to save menu. All right. Moogle. Hey. What a Moogle piece. Hmm. Is that like money? Can't have dessert until you ate your moogle peas. I don't want to eat moogles. Okay, so... Room where untold story unfolds. So we can use this one here, I guess, because it's a two. Sometimes we use like the enemy cards first, I guess. Yeah. Donald's jumping around like a card. Yeah, I think what's like throwing me off at the minute is the whole lock on isn't R1 anymore. I think that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a bonus. HP bonus, we've got Sora's CP. Yo, Papyrus, how you doing? Good to see you. Let's learn our sliding dash. Fly towards distant targets for close range of chat. Activate three cards of the same type. Total value 10 to 15. Okay. Oh, hold on. So you have to play three cards of a total value of 15 to activate sliding dash. Yikes. This feels like trying to understand like same and plus. In freaking triple triad, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I mean, I was trying to like activate it there at certain points, but I don't know if like my math was off or the issue was there. Doing pretty well. You have intensive course at university, a lot of work with short time period. Yeah. Meeting ground, okay. I'm still, you know, so I'm still getting to grips with it here, but yeah, I'm not sure I'm 100% there with everything just yet. Striker. I guess it's, it's card break then like they kind of like break my card from working I guess I think it's like they kind of like parry me. And if they parry me, my attack doesn't come off, basically, or I lose that, that card, it seems. Also, interestingly, I didn't notice, like, I know I got the thing about, like, each time you re refill the deck, um, it takes longer. What I didn't realize is like, I had to go through, like, two countdowns. I just, like, assumed yeah, that the, yeah. um, I assumed that the, um, that the countdown would just take longer, not have to go through two different cards. So that's interesting. Three big, pretty big projects in a week. Is that like all they all like writing projects, me, uh, Proferius? Room where heartless are drowsy and easy to ambush. If you have friends, a friend card appears at the start of battles. Room where striking first in the field stuns all heartless. All right, let's let's do some story. Nope, we need three or more. Okay, so we can't do it. Maybe we've already, have we already used that? Maybe. Oh, okay. Two group projects. Oh, that's a bit of added pressure as well. So we can use the zero because um, zero can be used at any time. The room cards. Also, it seemed like evading um, uh, like reduces the amount of time needed to That 
that's interesting to know as well. I can I can store the um Looks like I can like store the restoration. I don't have to do it like all in one go, so I can like do a little bit now if I wanted. It's kind of like pre-charge it. That's good to know. Couple of blizzard cards. Concerned that I haven't really grasped the sliding mechanic. I think one night person's trying to ask Papyrus is like, do you, have you got like a set role within the group of like what you need to do, or is it just like a is everybody doing the same thing, or do you have certain aspects of the project that you need to be doing? I think that's what's being asked. Okay, so we've got two doors here. Card with a number one or higher. Room where your item cards are more effective. Your French, French here at the start of the battle. Striking the first in the field stuns all heartless. Looks like a special card. Door emblazoned with a crown are special doors. You need special cards called key cards to open these doors. But just be just but just having the key card isn't enough to open the door. You need a key card and one or more additional cards meeting certain criteria. Pick a map card that meets the criteria, then open the door. Okay, so let's um, open a different door first. I don't know if like the number on the card potentially dictates either how many enemies there are or how difficult the room is perhaps.
I can't use. Okay, I can't use another card when one of my friends is in the battle either. Okay. It's the minus two card. Interesting. That heal card. Not really paying attention to the cards. I need to kind of like pay more attention to like what's going on down there rather than just kind of like spamming boot on. I guess like throwing that at them has confused them. Interesting. Teeming darkness. Give me a chance to like pick the box up and throw it at you, dude. I would love to have you in like a research project or something, uh, various for sure. All right, so, um, all right, we can't use that one because we haven't got like a heartless key then. So we're going to need to go back to the other room then, right? And hopefully we can use it here. Friends come up and start a battle. A room where striking first does have damage to Heartless. A room where striking first in the field stuns all Heartless. Oh, 
Oh, unless I need to pick that first, no. Um, okay, so what am I meant to do now then? Oh, so I can change this room now? No? I can change it. I can change the room if I want to change it, I guess. Do I have to like regenerate a different room? No, well, not regenerate a different room, but generate a different room. So does that mean I lost that other card that I just played a minute ago? Kingdom key. like an initiative attack or something get like a bonus for the looks of it in that instance it looks like sliding attack works so i don't think i have to activate sliding attack there uh Massively confused.
up first, no worries. Good time. Lizard card. So let's get the deck back. Just need to be the key. I kind of get the impression I need to keep So I can go all the way back. Okay, I've missed I missed the door. Okay. Now I get it. Missed that door there, but also there was a card. Let's let's take a moment. Breathe, regroup. Thankfully, we've got a world map in this. Ah, going on, hypes. Welcome, welcome. I need to place the one card first. Okay, so... Um, we'll have an easy to ambush card with the key card to progress the story, right? Welcome back, Furious. Furious. 